So this year, the Global Engagement Rally specifically focuses on the advo advocacy movements and the changes that youth can make in their communities. So today you will hear from informative speakers from all across the world and to learn about the difference that you can make. And there are a wide array of topics that fall under this category. And so hopefully by the end of this event, you will leave with the true key to impact. So we're really excited and we are going to pass it off to international trustee to go over our code of conduct. Hey everyone, I'm Nicole Bunyag. I'm the Key Company National Trustee and I'm from the Indiana District. Um, like Carissa said, the code of conduct, which is the Key Cup Professional Behavior, I'll be going over really quickly. So language, this is a celebration. Name calling, bullying, or vulgar language will not be permitted. Conduct, any con or behavior that is inappropriate will also not be permitted. Video, appropriate clothing must always be worn. Avoid disturbing move movements in the background. And to keep it safe, Key Club merch is always the safe route. And then the use of alcohol, tobacco, and drugs is not permitted in virtual meetings. And now I'll pass it on to David. Oh, sorry. I like really quickly change that. I just wanted to say, I forgot to introduce myself. For those of you who don't know, my name is Carissa Andorf. I'm the Key Club International Vice President. And as Vice President, I chair our Global Relations Committee. And so we have been preparing for the Global Engagement Rally um, for months since we met back in July. And I just wanted to say that we have a very, very special introduction. So we are so beyond excited that we have a new district in formation this year. For those of you who do not know, this is Italy San Marino. And so they have seen exceptional growth in Key Club in this past year. And the Global Relations Committee is going to support them the best this year um, to keep them on the path to becoming a district. So we had nearly 40 people registered from Italy for this event. And we have a representative here today that is going to give a few words. So Mauro, thank you so much for being here today. Would you please introduce yourself so we can pronounce your name correctly and give a few words? Thank you very much. I am Mauro Catalanotto and uh, I am one of the president of uh, Italian Key Clubs and uh, I want to say to you for first uh, a very warm greeting to all my Kivanian friends uh, and uh, Key Club members and uh, I am uh, very happy to be able to participate in this meeting. Uh, I want to say about uh, Italian Key Club that uh, for a couple of years now in uh, Italy we have chosen to insist on the creation of young uh, youth Key Clubs uh, too and uh, start a path which uh, from north to south today has around uh, 600 students distributed in 20 clubs, being able to cover a very vast area with our service section through the country. But uh, many key, key clubs are still in formation in our districts and uh, these uh, give us the dimension of a fertile reality in which is uh, good to invest. It is no coincidence uh, that we want to proceed, given the possibility to do so, with uh, the establishment of uh, the Italian Key Club District, which, uh, among all the other things, uh, are many uh, of uh, our young members are clamoring for. We are uh, willing to succeed. It uh, would be a sensational uh, result, especially because we will be uh, to constellate a global mapping of uh, the key club uh, district, uh, which today has few other districts uh, at uh, an international level. Since I was a member of uh, one uh, of the first uh, key clubs born in, uh, in Italy, uh, I had the opportunity to see from, uh, the, be the, from the beginning uh, the activities uh, that uh, all key clubs have carried out, such uh, as fruitful uh, fundraisers uh, like the occasion, uh, the creation of uh, charity events such as uh, concerts of sport uh, gatherings uh, with a strong social impact. In my town, for example, I created the, uh, the city council for uh, young people with my club to allow young people to take uh, an uh, active interest uh, in the administrative dynamics of our city. And uh, it is uh, a project that I hope to extend uh, through Italy, thanks to the uh, contribution that uh, the new district of the key clubs will be able to provide us. As you can see, uh, even in Italy, uh, the, re 
reality of uh, Yacht Clubs is very active and developed. And it uh, was uh, a pleasure for me to be able to tell you about that, the, about uh, uh, it. And uh, I look forward uh, to meet you all in person at uh, the next International Key Club uh, Convention. Thank you and sorry for my English. Thank you, Mauro, for joining us. The International Board is so excited to welcome the Italy San Marino District Information into the Key Club family. Hi, everyone. I'm David Robina, and I serve as the 2024 to 2025 Key Club International President. Global Engagement Rally was the first Key Club event that showed me the worldwide impact our organization makes every single day. So to every Key Club member of every corner and every corner of the world of every level, thank you for all that you do. You truly make a difference, and I really, really hope you have a fantastic Global Engagement Rally. Now, I will send it over to Vice President Carissa to explain today's format. Yeah, so our event today is structured as three workshop blocks. So we have two workshops for each block. We have a total of six workshops today, and we have presenters from all around the world. So for the next 30 minutes, we're going to open the breakout rooms with the name of each workshop. So if you have trouble joining a breakout room, please let us know which one you'd like to join in the chat and we can manually put you over. Um, so the first block, your choices are advocacy, action, and altruism, the power of leading through service. So this is hosted by Carolina's District Lieutenant Governor Rithika Kapu, where you'll learn about understanding advocacy and community service to create impactful projects. And then another option for this workshop block is key reasons to become a key clubber. And this is hosted by Issa Allison, the Florida District Treasurer. This workshop is about acknowledging and seizing the opportunities offered in key club. And you'll learn about that through his journey. Okay, welcome back everyone. That is the end of our workshop blocks. Thank you all for your participation in those. And we hope that you learn ways to make an impact in your communities. So now we have some updates from the programs and partner committee. So we have a few words about Start Strong Zambia, and then we'll talk about other um, um, partners and then our GLC program. And then we'll talk about ICON and the Centennial Challenge. And that will be it for this event. So I'm going to pass it off to Nidhi and Ethan. These are international trustees who co-chair the Programs and Partners Committee. Yeah, thank you, Carissa. So hi, everyone. My name is Ethan Schmidt, and I serve as a Key Club International Trustee. As Carissa said, I also serve as the co-chair of the Programs and Partners Committee. So we're really, we are really thrilled to share the latest achievements and the future endeavors of Key Club's impactful collaboration with UNICEF USA, particularly through the Start Strong Zambia campaign. So together with UNICEF and the Zambia government, we are working to support efforts to uplift communities and empower families in Zambia through various initiatives. To appreciate the depth of this collaboration, it's essential to understand the historical context of UNICEF USA and Key Club's past projects. Together, our organizations have previously collaborated on efforts to protect mothers and babies from maternal and neonatal tetanus, as well as our expansive efforts in the 90s to fight iodine deficiency disorders. Since the start of our partnership in 1994, Key Clubbers have raised over $12 million to various UNICEF programs around the globe. Hi everyone, my name is Nidhi Rao and I also serve as a Key Club International Trustee as well as Chair of the Programs and Partners Committee. So to continue with UNICEF, for those of you unfamiliar, Key Club and UNICEF USA's current project is the Start Strong Zambia campaign. All funds raised will contribute to building innovative community centers called INSACAs. These centers are equipped with spaces for children to learn and play, a community kitchen, a playground, water and sanitation facilities, and a vegetable garden. Start Strong Zambia also focuses on training community-based volunteers, healthcare providers, and teachers to create nurturing and stimulating environments for children. This includes the provision of and providing age-appropriate toys such as blocks, stringing beads, and books to encourage development and strengthen bonds between parents and children. The funds we raise are vital to supporting youth early childhood brain development and growth. The Start Strong Zambia program is off to a fantastic start. In the past year, UNICEF Zambia has built 12 Nsaka centers, which are vital hubs for the community. 
to dramatically improve family access to integrated early childhood development or ECD programs, 12 boreholes have been drilled in these at these centers, supporting health facilities and promoting ECD programming across 26 community sites. Finally, since the project's start, we have raised a whopping $174,000 in counting. UNICEF has impacted approximately 20,000 caregivers through outreach initiatives that provide integrated ECD counseling, which includes responsive care, health, nutrition, and water, as well as sanitation and hygiene through home visits and community meetings. Through playing-based learning, the Ansaka centers have impacted 7,737 children aged 0 to 3 years and an additional 3,229 children aged 3 to 8 years in the past year. UNICEF's dedication to supporting health professionals, early childhood educators, nurse trainee instructors, and community-based volunteers is indicative of a comprehensive strategy that provides parenting techniques and a standard of children's homes. As we look to the remainder of the year, exciting new projects are on the horizon. To continue our support for Start Strong Zambia, we invite all members to actively participate in fundraising efforts. Funds can be submitted through the Key Club International website, or by mailing us a check made payable to the Kiwanis Children's Fund. We are also delighted to announce some special new members of the Key Club and UNICEF USA community, the UNICEF Champions. Each district of Key Club has named one individual as their UNICEF Champion. Our 33 champions will serve to promote UNICEF and its mission throughout Key Club and Spearhead fundraising efforts. We are excited to see what they will accomplish. If you need a couple of creating fundraising ideas for Start Strong Zambia, here are a few of our favorites. Children's concert. First, you can host a concert featuring a local church or children's choir, selling admissions to raise funds. Book sale. Um, collect and resell old books, records, tapes, and CDs to support the cause. Third is a sports tournament. You can organize a round robin tournament in sports like softball, pickleball, ping pong, or card games, charging admission fees. And finally is a grab and go stand. Set up stands in your neighborhood, library, or school campus to sell baked goods, coffee, or cocoa. As we wrap up our UNICEF USA update, the Key Club International Board thanks you for all of your tireless efforts in fundraising and continued support for the Key Club and UNICEF USA partnership. We hope that you take this valuable information back to your clubs and that you continue to be a positive force for change. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me, Ethan, or your district's UNICEF champion. Thank you. So we're now going to pass it off to our fellow international trustee, Lena Musa, to give an update on Schoolhouse. Hey everyone, my name is Lena Musa and I serve as the Schoolhouse Liaison. So today I'm really excited to introduce an opportunity that combines education, service, and community support through Key Club's partnership with Schoolhouse World. So Schoolhouse is an online platform founded by Sal Khan, the creator of Khan Academy, that offers free peer-to-peer -peer tutoring sessions for students worldwide on a variety of subjects. The goal is to help students learn from each other, build their knowledge, and gain confidence. And every year from January to March, Schoolhouse hosts an event called the Tutorathon, and he was really excited to be involved. So this event is a dedicated time when tutors volunteer to host sessions, um, helping students to prep for exams, understand challenging topics, and even explore subjects that they're curious about on the side. Uh, this year, we're especially encouraging district officers to get so actively can, involved in the key club subworld. Mm -hmm. As a host, as a host, you'll have the unique opportunity to lead educational sessions crafted specifically for Key Club members, and you yourself can design sessions that explore service-oriented topics or teach practical skills like uh, public speaking, leadership strategies, and um, anything else that you'd like. So like, imagine creating a space where you not only share valuable insights, but also build connections over skills that directly relate to Key Club's mission. Hosting a session would allow you to give back, foster growth in others, and even reinforce our shared values of education and service. By participating in the Tutorathon, you can also um, earn special Schoolhouse badge ribbons, a certificate of congratulations from Sal Khan, and Schoolhouse and Key Club t-shirts and swag bags. So these are really great ways to recognize your dedication to service and learning. In addition to this, district governors can also build their own tutorathon for their respective districts. This lets them design an event that's customized to need to the needs of their district members, whether they want to focus on academic subjects, leadership skills, or prepping for certain service projects. So the Schoolhouse World and Key Club Partnership allows us to ultimately like 
have a really good connection with service and by working together, we can create a space where students can support each other academically and develop leadership skills. So whether you wanna join as a host or help spread the word or even build a tutorathon for your district, I hope that you're excited as I am about this partnership because it is really a unique opportunity to learn and serve together. And I'm looking forward to seeing the impact we can make with Schoolhouse and Key Club. Thank you. I'll now pass it to my fellow international trustee, Chikanma Okazir, to give an update on the GLC. Hello, everybody. My name is Chikanma Okazir. Um, I'm from the Michigan District, and today I'm going to be talking about the Global Leadership Certificate. And so the Global Leadership Certificate is a series of 40 online courses based on Key Club's core values, leadership and service and fellowship. Through these courses, you learn to elevate your leadership skills. You learn traditional skills as well as gain experience, expertise in networking, conflict management, inspiring others, navigating change, and more. You can complete it online and on your own schedule. It's included in Key Club membership at no additional cost and is available to all members of clubs in good standing. It's supported by the Kiwanis Children Fund grant from the Youth Opportunities Fund. Um, GLC is designed to strengthen skills focused on service leadership competencies. The courses are grouped together by 11 different leadership competencies listed on the screen, from learning about connection, inclusion, and communication, and more through video assess videos, assessments, resources, and other activities. You learn how to get your voice heard and your community's concerns met. So, um, the, these courses can be accessed by logging into the Key Club Membership Update Center at, GL, at keyclub.org slash MUC and clicking on the click here to access the Service Leadership Programs Advisors, Chaperones, um, and Global Leadership Certificate courses. For technical support, you can email the address listed on the login screen or portal. So you have um, access to 40 courses at your fingertips on topics including building meaningful connections, relationships, strategic versus tactical leadership, networking, inclusion, civic engagement, and being an agent for change. Here's a sneak peek at the course dashboard showing the progress bar and completion of the first three courses under the connection competency model. You can complete the courses whenever you have time and log in as many times as you need to complete all 40. So there are many different ideas on how you can get creative with um, GLC to foster community within your club and promote these skills further. One fun idea is to complete the course together as a club. So a number of courses enable group, group participation. For example, you can log in under one member's account um, and go through their own course. You can watch the videos and short follow-up reading assignments together. And then you can work on the reflection questions at the end. Or you could, go, you could ask everyone to complete the course ahead of time and then come together for a follow-up discussion at club meetings. With any of these ideas, even if your club doesn't fully want to participate, you could have a little subgroup of members, like a book club, where you could meet every week with the members that complete the course and then together discuss or build on the topic. Fourthly, you can buddy up. If there are just two or three members that want to do this together, you can do any of the above ideas with just a few of you. These are just a few ideas of what you can, how you can collaborate with the GLC. Get creative and see leadership growth within your club. So the GLC Masterclass is the in-person event version of the, the course. So at ICON, you can further develop and practicalize your skills from the course. The courses are taught by special guest lecturers who take the material from online and turn them into practical information that you can use in your club key club roles, your community, and whatever comes next. Key club is hosting another master class this year at ICON in Orlando. So in order to participate in the master class, you have to firstly have completed at least 20, 20 courses by the by June 1st, 2024, 2025, and you must be in attendance of in the of the conver convention in Orlando and attend the GLC masterclass. For PDF on instructions on how to access the courses and frequently asked questions, you can visit Key Club's webpage or email SLP certificate at kiwanis.org. And now I'll pass it on to um I'll pass it on to um 
And I'll be passing it on to Alejandro Ganaza to talk about International Convention 2025 in Orlando. Hi, Geek Lovers. I promise we're almost done. Thank you to all the attendees that have stayed so far. It really goes to show your dedication to our organization. And I'm actually repping the 100th Icon shirt. Came loud and proud from Florida, currently in Miami, yeah, David. Um, and I want to say thank you all for being here. I know it goes to show that Icon 2025, yes, it may be eight months away or nine, but we're truly, truly planning it to be the best. And Aspen and Sunny know that this is going to be the best international convention that we have. So for those of you who don't know, it will be hosted in Orlando, Florida. Some of you that were at that workshop earlier have already heard that before. And it'll be from July 2 to 6 of 2025. And if you really think about it, that also covers 4th of July. So nice celebration to tie in. It'll be at the Hilton Orlando Lake Buena Vista Disney Springs area. And it will be commemorating a century of service, which is our theme, passing along the 1925 original Key Club all the way to what we have now in 2025. And so we're going to play a quick little video for you guys about our century of service. Yeah, so I hope you all liked the video. Um, goes to show how far we've come with all of those pictures that, you know, I wasn't even born then. Um, and so with that, Orlando has a lot to offer in terms of our history in Florida, the Sunshine State, which is where the orange background came from. Um, and if you guys have any other questions, we will be hosting a winter webinar sneak peek um, later on in December. But if you have any questions so far, you can contact our ICON committee co-chairs, Aspen Hess and Sunny Sandu. Yep, you guys heard it here. The 2024 International Convention theme is a century of service, celebrating 100 years of dedication to service and leadership. To celebrate this year and all of your accomplishments, the iBoard has created the Centennial Challenge. I'll now pass it over to the international president, David, to talk about this award. Thank you, Sonny and Aspen. This year, the iBoard's top priority is membership growth and development as we celebrate our 100th anniversary year. <laughs> our goal is to increase membership by 10%, reaching 250,000 members or, or one-fourth of a million student leaders worldwide. To achieve this, we launched the Centennial Challenge. The Centennial Challenge, or CC, is an international competition that rewards districts for increases in membership, fundraising, service, and other key areas. Districts that win the CC will be awarded at ICON with a free dinner at Planet Hollywood, a networking night with past international presidents, exclusive 100th birthday Key Club merch, like Alejandro's wearing right now, and so, so much more. Heck yeah, Alejandro, heck yeah. So membership growth carries the most weight on the Centennial Challenge rubric. Since all growth work happens at the local level, Key Club International Council and Lieutenant Governors, club officers, and general members to expand our organization. To support this effort, International trustees will meet with key club members across all levels of the inverted pyramid throughout the year to discuss and actualize membership growth. When it comes to the Centennial Challenge, we're all in this together. If you need support, fresh strategies, or want to highlight your home club or district's progress on key club international platforms, do not hesitate to reach out to iBoard members and district governors. We're here to help, and we can't wait to see what you have to accomplish this year. Thank you guys for listening to the Centennial Challenge. I'm going to send it back to Carissa Andorf to take us home. All right, so thank you guys so much for being here today. I hope you guys learned so much about the key to impact. And I hope that you got an opportunity to talk and learn from leaders throughout um, the world. I also want to mention that we had over, or we had 16 different countries represented at this year's global engagement rally. So that makes it the most global, global engagement rally in the history of five years that we've had this event. So that's something worth celebrating. Thank you guys so much for being here. 20 
25% of registrations this year for the Global Engagement Rally were from members outside of the United States. So thank you all for being here today. Um, the iBoard is here to support you, so you can always contact us with any questions. But thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.